The Swedish Defense Material Administration FMV recently delivered new mobile platforms equipped with Saab's RBS-15 MK2 anti-ship missiles to the Swedish Armed Forces. Designed for enhanced coastal defense, these platforms provide increased mobility for deploying the RBS-15 MK2 system along Sweden's coastline. The FMV project manager Anders Brunander noted that these platforms are built to be adaptable, with future support for the upcoming RBS-15 MK4 Gungnir that includes capabilities for land-based target engagement. The RBS-15, or Robot System 15, is a fire-and-forget anti-ship missile developed by Saab Bofors Dynamics in Sweden and DLBGT Defense in Germany. Since its debut in the 1980s, this missile has seen numerous upgrades, leading to its latest variant, the RBS-15 MK4 Gungnir. Today, we're diving deep into the world of the RBS-15 family with a special spotlight on the advanced RBS-15 Gungnir. So, keep watching to discover the incredible features and destructive force of this anti-ship missile. The story of the RBS-15 begins in the 1960s when the Swedish Navy was developing the RB-08 anti-ship missile. Unfortunately, its bulky design made it impractical for smaller vessels. Seeking a self-reliant solution, Swedish engineer Hans Allender initiated the RBS-15 project, leading to the delivery of the first RBS-15 MK-1 missiles in 1984. Soon after, a version for coastal defense was ready, and even the Swedish Air Force adopted it. In the early 1990s, Saab rolled out the RBS-15 MK2, which boosted the missile's range to 75 kilometers and improved its radar and infrared tracking, making it more accurate and versatile. This missile is designed with a sea-skimming flight profile, allowing it to approach targets while staying below the radar horizon, which boosts its effectiveness against naval vessels. The RBS-15 MK2 is mounted on a robust Volvo truck chassis, providing durability and ease of transport across various terrains, which is essential for quick deployment in different operational settings. In the mid-1990s came the RBS-15 MK3. This model took the missile's capabilities even further. A new turbojet engine, the Microturbo TRI-65, allowed the MK3 to reach 200 kilometers, a huge boost in range. The MK3 was also the first model in the series to include land attack capabilities, giving it a much broader role in military operations. It featured GPS guidance, selective targeting, and a 200 kilograms high explosive warhead designed for deep penetration, making it useful against a range of targets. It became a popular choice internationally, with Germany using it on their Braunschweig class corvettes and Finland employing it for mobile coastal defense units. Now, let's move forward to the star of the show. The RBS-15 MK4, also known as Gungnir, named after the legendary Spear of Odin in Norse mythology. First revealed at the 2018 Farnborough International Air Show, the Gungnir is designed to tackle modern threats in maritime and land environments. Saab secured a contract worth $362 million from the FMV to develop these missiles, which will be deployed on Visby-class corvettes and JAS Gripen E multi-role fighters. But what makes the Gungnir stand out? The Gungnir is designed for adaptability, available in air, ship, and land-based configurations. This flexibility means it can be integrated into various platforms without extensive modifications. With a length of 4.35 meters, a wingspan of 1.40 meters, and a diameter of 0.50 meters, Gungnir is compact yet powerful. It weighs around 650 kilograms in flight, 
with certain launch configurations boosting its weight to 810 kilograms. This balance of size and weight enhances its adaptability across different platforms. Adding to its flexibility is the RBS-15 launcher unit, designed to fit within an ISO 20-foot container. Each container can hold up to four missiles, and it's compatible with any vehicle capable of transporting ISO standard containers, be it military or civilian. This modular setup makes Gungnir easy to transport, quick to deploy, and adaptable to various mission requirements, a testament to its powerful and innovative design. Powered by a turbojet engine, the Gungnir hits a high subsonic speed of Mach 0.9, extending its range to over 300 kilometers, more than any of its predecessors. This combination of speed and range makes it perfect for quick strike missions. Whether it's launched from a fighter jet, a naval ship, or a ground-based platform, the MK-4 adapts easily to whatever mission is at hand. One of the standout features of the RBS-15 MK-4 Gungnir is its advanced guidance system. Equipped with a J-band active radar target seeker and an inertial navigation system, it boasts all weather capabilities and can identify and engage targets with impressive precision. The missile also includes an anti-jam GPS for enhanced navigational accuracy and a data link that allows operators to retarget the missile mid-flight. These features make the Gungnir a resilient option for various tactical missions. When it comes to firepower, the Gungnir carries a 200 kilogram high explosive warhead designed to deal serious damage. The warhead is positioned to maximize blast effectiveness and ensure deep penetration, making it suitable for all kinds of vessels and infrastructure targets. To add to its impact, land and sea-based versions come with additional booster motors, providing a quick acceleration boost at launch. This combination of speed and destructive power makes the Gungnir a highly effective asset for modern defense forces. On the global stage, the RBS-15 family, and especially the MK-4 Gungnir, is drawing significant interest. Its versatility to perform both anti-ship and land attack missions is appealing to defense sectors worldwide, from navies to air forces. Countries like Germany, Poland, Croatia, and Thailand have added RBS-15 missiles to their arsenals, recognizing the value of a system that fits a variety of operational needs. For the Swedish Armed Forces, the Gungner is a key player across multiple defense platforms, proving its effectiveness and adaptability time and again. Well, that's all for today. Share your thoughts in the comment below, and thanks for watching.